My name is Alexandra Demons, and um, I live in Brooklyn, New York. I'm a Taurus, 24 years old, going on 25, hitting that big lick of a nice quarter. And I feel hot as shit. Can't say I don't. I feel great. It's me. I have my insecurities because I feel as if I don't, like, articulate everything as best I could because I'm not as educated as many. When first coming to New York, I, I um, had this idea that I could get my mixology license in Ohio and come here and do high-end bartending. And I was very hyped up on the, the idea and thinking that would make me successful here and it would make great money. And, um, you know, it, it would bring me a lifestyle that I desired. And the fact that coming here and having those dreams crushed, you know, within like a, a small time frame, but a time frame that I felt as if you had to, to sustain a good lifestyle, which is like, in, in my opinion, I still feel this way. If you go two weeks without a job in New York, you're pretty much struggling. Like, if you're someone who's not in a, you know, a, a good bracket of, like, education and, you know, um, just overall, like, appearances on uh, resumes and, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's just my, my opinion of how you should be able to sustain a good lifestyle here. It would be all, like... Who in you know, all in who you know, because it's it's very much that mindset here. If if you can find someone to carry you, it it is more of a struggle to live in New York than in in any other city. I I get a high off of it. I like I like that there's something that. Uh, constantly keeps me up and going. The fact that I see people in my everyday that are. Um, uh, just, you know, in a mindset of, like, constantly um, trying to do well for themselves, I guess. To continue in New York, I don't know if I see for myself. I see that as always being home, thank God. I would never consider going back to Ohio to be home. Um, it's a sad truth that I have family there, but... I don't consider that home. At the end of the day, I'd rather struggle in New York than live anywhere else I in the country. <laughs> I'd rather be uh, someone on the side of the street in New York than be <laughs> someone on the side of the street in another part of the country. <laughs> okay. I, I genuinely believe people stay in the middle of America and, you know, don't choose to expand to the outskirts and where it's more progressive, so to speak, um, uh, because of the fact that they have a comfort zone from the people they've grown up with and the family members that, you know, they rely on. Um, and I... I just genuinely believe there's no desire to to obstruct these views that are forced onto you from people within uh, the middle of the country. I genuinely believe you do not have to have... I'm, I'm living proof of the fact that you don't need much in order to succeed or at least do well for yourself in New York. I have a fucking 10th grade education <laughs> and I'm a liar to its fullest because I will genuinely state that I work in a place that I've never been and I will use my friends to be my fucking, my uh, little co-conspiracy <laughs> <here. laughs> to have my back. I, I genuinely need it. I, 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 um, I feel like I've done well for myself with those little fibs. I, I could be in much worse places. 
I see people on the, the train that are begging for money, like young kids my age, and um, people I, I look at as if, like, I, I could have grown up with them, like average-looking people, and, um, and I, I think I could, I could have been one of them easily. I, I don't have a background in similarity to many young people my age, I feel. Um, you know, who are in debt. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> because um, I didn't take that direction. I mean, I guess I am indebted in lies, but um, I feel like that's better than money. Because <laughs> I can get away with that. <laughs> Well, I went to see Ella Minas, and um, she was great. I didn't get to see the opening performers, which was kind of sad, but other than that, I feel fine about everything. It was a very good show, all in all. And I feel like it's something to do, you know, in the sense of, like, letting myself go, getting time to dance, and, and like, free the body and the mind while doing so. It's been almost four years since I've moved to New York and um, you know I, I feel good about that. I came from Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. I was born and raised and um, I don't think I would ever move back uh, to Ohio. I have no desire to live there. I have no desire to um, the be around individuals who are not progressive, you know. I feel like when you're in smaller cities, people can be more impactful in your life, and, um, you know, because anyone that has, like, an idea or perspective that can seem more uh, forward-thinking, it'll appeal to you easier than if you were around many individuals with many creative ideas in, in different sectors. I mean, it's a, it's a great thing to see yourself around in, in New York. I, I feel um, in comparison to other smaller c- cities, you don't, you don't encounter that as much.